from Maryland is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I think that all of these efforts to distract us from the issue at hand are meant to cover up the very clear pro-Russian and pro-Putin faction at the heart of their side of the aisle. Last month, in March of this year, the very distinguished gentlelady from Georgia went on a radio show called The Voice of Rural America, and she followed Donald Trump's sickening appeasement of Vladimir Putin and blamed Ukraine for the situation. She said, you see, Ukraine just kept poking the bear and poking the bear, which is Russia, and Russia invaded. There's no win for Ukraine here. Russia is successful in this invasion. We have members of Congress who are cheerleaders for Vladimir Putin and are voices of nothing but defeatism, fatalism, and pessimism for democracy in Europe. And so they try to distract us with a lot of phony rhetoric about other issues. She also said, NATO has been supplying the neo-Nazis in Ukraine with powerful weapons and extensive training on how to use them. What the hell is going on with these NATO Nazis? My friends, we've got to decide which side we're on. When Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt and the Americans looked at what was happening in Europe during World War II and they saw Nazis marching down the street, they did not see very fine people on both sides of the street. They did not start cheerleading for Mussolini and Hitler and Franco. And yet we have people here who go out and speak on the side of Vladimir Putin and on the side of Russia. Let's pass this Ukraine Democracy Defense Land Lease Act to show where America is. We are not cheerleaders for Vladimir Putin. We are not going to follow the Trump-Putin axis down the road towards autocracy and kleptocracy and sedition and insurrection and corruption and coups in the United States. That's not where we're going. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. We stand for democracy here, not Vladimir Putin. I'd like to yield two minutes to the gentlewoman from Pennsylvania, the distinguished member of the Rules Committee, Ms. Scanlon. The gentlewoman from Pennsylvania is recognized.